Hi friends, greetings from Dr. M. V. Rao. Welcome to Science Smiles Shorts. Earlier, in one of my videos, we have discussed why turmeric should be boiled. It is a well known process. Traditionally, the turmeric is boiled after harvest and thereafter it is dried and next it's polished before it reaches the market in one of the laboratory experiments i have demonstrated boiling turmeric fingers in the laboratory and have presented in the video the advantages of boiling with boiling the curcuminoids in turmeric get distributed uniformly and give the turmeric an appeal to the eye. The picture on the left shows the unboiled turmeric chip with color concentrated in the center. The picture on the right shows the boiled chip where the color is distributed uniformly. While we spoke of the color in the earlier video, now I have taken a different experiment on what happens if we do not boil the turmeric and directly dry the product and grind it. This experiment is more objective in the sense we measured the curcuminoids in the product. As we are aware, curcuminoids are the responsible compounds that give yellow color to the turmeric and curcumin is the essential compound out of all these curcuminoids. We have taken two varieties of turmeric fingers for this study. One, a low or medium curcumin variety, generally 1 to 2 percent curcumin. Two, a reasonably high curcumin variety, generally 3 to 4 percent of curcumin. The fingers are made into slices. The fingers could have been dried directly as such without making into slices, but it takes a very long time for drying. The fingers after cutting into slices are dried in open atmosphere. It is noteworthy to mention again, we have not boiled the turmeric and bypassed this step. This is contrary to the traditional method of processing turmeric. The slices of turmeric are dried in open and after thorough drying are taken out. The picture shows the dry turmeric finger slices of both the varieties. The color visually also shows that one is low curcumin variety and the other one is a high curcumin variety. This clip shows grinding of turmeric. Turmeric is ground in a sturdy stainless steel grinder. In fact, after drying the turmeric, it gets so hard and difficult to grind with regular household grinder. Now, since these are small chips here and slices only, they could be ground with ease. We estimated 
curcumin by spectrophotometric method. The turmeric powder is dissolved in a solvent and the color is measured at 425 nanometers and the curcumin content is calculated. Now comes the result. The result in terms of the visual appearance and in terms of curcumin levels. Here is a comparison of low color turmeric variety. The picture on the left shows the turmeric powder from the current experiment. The left picture shows the powder which is directly dried without boiling. The picture on the right shows the traditionally processed turmeric that is boiled, dried and pulverized. We can see the turmeric without boiling that is on the left is not bright and somewhat is pale in color. It is also having a slight brownish tinge. The traditionally processed turmeric which is on the right is having a bright appearance and is appealing to the eye. The most interesting aspect is the curcumin content. In the laboratory processed directly dried turmeric which is on the left, the curcumin content was found to be 2.3 percent and surprisingly the traditionally processed material which is boiled dried which is on the right curcumin level was found to be 1.2 percent only. This is interesting and contrary to the visual appearance. These pictures are of high curcumin variety. The left picture is directly dry turmeric powder of laboratory experiment. This is compared with traditionally processed that is by boiling method powder which is shown in the right picture. An identical result was found similar to low curcumin variety. The laboratory processed dry material looked inferior visually. The curcumin however was higher. The curcumin was 6.85 percent in directly dried material while it was 3.02 percent in the traditional boiling processed material. Now, what could be the reason? In unboiled turmeric, there is less color periphery of starchy material. Only the central core is the color. Therefore, the distribution of color is not very uniform on grinding and gave inferior color visually. In boiled material, traditionally processed, the color penetrates the starchy surrounding area and every particle gets color. That is why it is bright. Coming to curcumin, it is assumed some curcumin gets degraded or destroyed on boiling and thus shows lesser curcumin content in the traditional process. The conclusion is that for all cooking related processes, the traditional boiling practice is perfect that is boiling, drying, polishing and pulverizing. For processors extracting curcumin, 
it may be better to dry the product without boiling thank you very much friends for watching the video on all your cooperation please subscribe